started building our camp out in the Rotenberger area. That's Cecil on the bulldozer I rented, and we take turns. Had Jimmy Reeser come out there with his big drag line and dug a canal and piled up the mud and muck, and we uh, leveled it all out. Finally made us an airstrip. The cabin we built, studded it all up and put lap streak, I mean not lap streak, but diagonal brace uh, one by eights and one by tens on it and then paper over top of it and then we put wire and eventually plastered it. Made a good strong house. There's Jimmy's drag line. He had it, got it stuck there by the end of the airstrip. Had to come and get another drag line, bring another one out to get this one out. It was a mess there for a while. There's Earlene and her and her dad and me and and uh, Valerie and uh, Tina went down, and caught us a mess of bass down there in the canal just south of camp. Well, this is. Earlene driving my new half track, bringing my Uncle John and Aunt Kathleen out to the new camp. I had a Pontiac V8 in there with a quick change racing rear, and that thing would scat. I could change the gear ratio according to the weather conditions, whether it was wet or dry. Old deer run off the side there and got a picture of it, partly. Now we're looking at the camp now that it's done. We've got the house plastered, got the airstrip all grassed in. There's my little old airplane. And then Bill Wall built that house up there after we built ours. There's the airstrip. Well, that's my first decked over airboat there. And there's old Hal Nysky. Used to come out there and hunt with us. You'll notice on the right there, I've got landing lights on the airstrip. I could come in and out at night. There's my old J3 Cub. Boy, I wished I had it now. That's the one I had, uh, I used in Operation Deer Save. Some of you might have seen it for spotting deer for the airborne.